This stream highlight was filmed in front of a live Twitch audience. The last time I played some of Scorn stream was back in September last year. Since then, I have taken quite a break from the game. I've played Below Zero twice, twice all the way through. Once casually, and then the second time hardcore. I don't know too much about the game. Today starts a challenge where I start on the surface. Once I go below the surface, I'm allowed to go to the surface two more times during the entire run. This limits my options for findable technology quite substantial, quite substantially. However, this does not matter because I am not allowed to build a base. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I hope I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I don't know if this challenge is possible. I, I actually don't. Um, there's there's one thing that might be really, really tough to do. Because how am I going to make a sea truck? <laughs> Without surfacing. I have one spot in mind. I think it should work. If it doesn't work, then that's going to suck. Okay. I'm, I'm going to take full advantage of any loopholes I've left in the rules. For instance, one of those loopholes is that I am allowed... So this is actually really loud. First of all, the... F the first loophole I'm going to take advantage of is right at the start and um, I'm going to basically look for anything that I can salvage at the start here. Anything at all. I am allowed to build base items. I'm just not allowed to build or enter like a base that's like you can walk around in. So I can't do those. I just can't actually build the actual base component. This this stops me having like some dumb storage tricks. Cause in the original Subnor Skill, when I did this challenge, the no surface challenge. Okay, cha okay, it starts now, by the way. <laughs> I completely forgot I was, I was doing this challenge. Okay. It's going to be this is going to be a struggle. Um, oh yeah, this is already going to be a struggle. So I'm going to need some uh, some oxygen tanks. So I'm going to need limestone, quartz, metal. So, in the original Sword North Girl, when I did this challenge, we of course had the Cyclops. And the Cyclops is extremely useful. We don't have a Cyclops here, we have a Sea Truck which is considerably less useful because you can't actually build what you want on it. So like, auction plants are going to be our friend here. The first part of this, this run is going to be the hardest part. But then there's also going to be a hard part very like near the end. Because the Shadowed Leviathan is like... They're going to be a problem. I'm going to have to probably swim through them. Because I don't think I will have any way of actually making a depth module. That goes deep enough. 
for what I need with uh, with the sea truck. Yeah, the damn, this is gonna be. Oh, the the, the start of this game is gonna be brutal. There's no, there's not many oxygen plants nearby. Um, okay, let's just. We're probably gonna want some dra grav traps as well. They're probably gonna become useful. Okay. So yeah, we have this solution to the option. We also have whole fish, but I want to avoid whole fish if possible, because uh, they've got symbiotes nearby. Oxygen. Yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna basically we're gonna live the entire playthrough just off bladder fish. Like, if we find bladder fish, we're, we're collecting them. Like bladder fish are the items we, we need. Items. Livestock we need. Now, another thing is uh, the scanner. So we need a battery. Battery is going to be very easy. We have what we need just underneath the base. Wait, wait, come here. We're also going to see if we can manage this deathless. Yes, we need a battery. Earn battery! We. Ah, shit, we can't actually charge batteries. We'll have no charging batteries. Or right, power cells. Damn, okay, so charging the C truck is going to be uh, interesting. And we're going to use the sea truck quite a lot. It, it seems we're going to be uh, we're going to be using a lot of oxygen tanks, and I mean a lot of them. They're going to be how we survive. So, if I because I, I will probably at some point accidentally surface without even thinking about it. If I do. Um, that's gonna count as a death on the death counter, and I'm gonna have to drink for it. I just can't actually build the actual base component. This this stops me having like some dumb storage tricks. Because in the original Submoscar, when I did this challenge, the no surface challenge. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Oh, so we're gonna we're gonna struggle to actually upgrade this. Shit. Um, okay, that's gonna be a absolute pain in the ass. So emergency supply cache. Can we can we get there in time? And I think my game's just crashed. That is unfortunate because I've not saved. See, like, that's going to be useful. There, there really isn't scrap in this game. Oh, one thing we're really going to miss is uh, a scanner room. Yeah, we'll make it. We'll make it. Eventually, the sea truck, we're going to get a lot of modules for it. Um, might or might not get this, the prawn suit. Cause like that, that's going to be a decision to make. So prawn suit could be an option to go deeper. So these, these oxygen plants are going to be the MVP, especially in this biome. So 
So I'm going to refill my oxygen at the, uh, the life pod. Just because it is, it's better to have like four oxygen than have like not four oxygen. Because they'll typically go away if you uh, hack at them. Sea truck depth upgrade. Come on, come on, come on. I need to get in. Yes, because we really need to know how to make a bioreactor. So we can make a habitat builder now. You might be wondering, what on earth do I need a habitat builder for? If I'm not building a base. So there's probably stuff that I'm going to need to build with the habitat builder. Uh, that will be advantageous. Like external stuff. Not, not going to be building like internal stuff. gonna grab that because diamonds are kind of quite hard to come by so yeah at this point again they're not they're not expecting you to have a sea truck that's why uh that's why you can actually go through with uh breast plants Oh, we need this. So three iron cubes, I think, is what we need to actually make one parts. That is going to be a problematic item. We need more storage. Should I these flares? Oh, we do need these flares though. Need those flares for later. Okay, silver. More silver. More silver. Oh, dear. 
I feel like I feel like I'm probably gonna get unlucky and there's probably gonna be like a rowing Shelly that's not in its correct place. Oh when I go to the event gardens that's gonna be uh, um, an absolute nightmare with the Shelleys. Two more glass. So actually instead of getting two more glass I'm gonna get some uh, quartz. What the hell am I saying half the time? Made no sense. I'm not even going to correct it. But yeah, I'm off to quartz now. Uh, whilst we're at it, cook a few of these fruits. Fill up. Uh, th these fruits, thank God they don't let you actually harvest them. More like farm them. Because they're, they're overpowered. Like a large amount of food and water on the same plant. Actually, <coughs> it might be possible to complete this game with just one surface. If you do the ice worm bit last and you sort of bridge across, like from the ice worm section to to the end of the game, that's very possible. Um, new chair is on its way. <laughs> it is. Uh, it is ordered. It is like it's going to arrive in battle. So, so yeah, I will have a new chair at some point. So I won't have to keep fixing it every single stream. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is going to be awkward. It's what a Leviathan. No, I'm I'm nowhere near Leviathans at the moment. <sighs> okay, how do I know? If... So I can't do it from here. I need a moon pool really to do this. And I'm not allowed to create a moon pool. Just depth. I'm not going to have much uh, much options when it comes to depth. Yes, I need to go to Margaret's base. Because I need to go to Margaret's base for one of the things. Either to get the moon pool or to use her moon pool. I I feel that I feel that that uh, that PDA message is intended for people doing stupid challenges like this, unless we do this. Okay, I need I need a battery and I need some titanium. Okay, I might have found the solution. This is going to be super janky. So basically, we want these platforms to be on the same sort of like 
height. Okay, so nope. No, come on, come on, come on. Oh, can we get on? I don't know if we can get on underwater, that's the problem. I feel like sort of trying to bug this isn't the answer. It's probably going to have to be Margaret's base. Okay, now... Because technically they're too close together. <sighs> I don't know the answer to this. This is definitely a problem we have to fix. I have to be above water for this to work. I see. I don't know the game enough to know if there is somewhere, or we'll have to bend the rules of the the challenge. There is only one way to do it, and we're going to have to do an extremely long swim. Through some, uh, through some Leviathans. Good evening, Dolphins, <laughs> and... Yes. Yes. I have replaced the chair. I have a, a new chair. Yeah, I, I'd like to know who made that chair, that account. I think it's Whiskey. I think it's Whiskey Dreamer. It looks like a James Bond villain chair. Which I think would suit me quite well. Could very much be a James Bond villain. I also have to test if I'm going to need another oxygen tank. Because remember, I'm not allowed to surface. I'm not allowed to refill my oxygen that way. Good evening, Phantom Fire. I, I, I need to get more inventive with these voices. Okay, so I don't know if this beacon... Is one of the ones that crosses the path of a Shelly. I know there's one that's like really evil and it crosses the, the path of a Shelly Sweat Leviathan. What you hear there is not a Shelly, it's a Cryptosuchus. So we're definitely going to need another oxygen tank for sure. I uh, get the free uh, metal. Oh, go away. Go away. Yeah, don't don't grab my lead. Gonna drop that beacon there so that we know a direction to go in. Let's go to the Dell Station Dockers there. So we're, we're going to go here. We're going to go a little bit off off to the right. If we want to sort of cut down time. So we can't go through the island. And also because we've not been to the island, not got the cutscene yet, we don't have the waypoint to Margaret's base. Or uh, actually, I guess, I guess we wouldn't have the... Waypoint to Margaret's base. We would have like a waypoint to the biome just above Margaret's base. 
getting disorientated. I have to make sure I don't actually surface. Should have gone when it was uh, lighter. Okay, I could get jump scared here. So there's a Joe's, there's a, that's near the island. Okay, we'll, we'll go back and we'll come back with uh, fresh, fresh oxygen. Unfortunately for us, with where we're going, there's actually two Shelleys in the way. There will be a there will be a picture of uh, of the new chair in the Discord. Okay, so wait. Floating up. The floating air pump, do I have to power this? Good evening. Just to clarify, I, I give I give a voice the first time I say hello to someone every day. So yeah. It is it's turned into kind of a tradition. It, it's a thing that started like a couple weeks ago and now it's now it's like a, a rule it seems. Um And it seems I uh, seems I froze as well. Yeah. Dude, this is so good. This is so good. This is the point of no return. I have committed. Oxygen. Shelly up there. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Event garden. Harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. Rising Shelly over there. In mineral rich fissure below. Come on. Okay, so there we are. But now we've got we've got a path that we can follow. Nothing else we're gonna want. Okay, so I do also have bladder fish on me. I think I got a couple. There we are. Yeah, this is super deep. We 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 absolutely. Oh no, we wanted to deploy this. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. If you hated it, feel free to download it into a Bolivia. If you enjoyed it and you'd like to support me, honestly, the best way to support me is by stopping by my Twitch channel and saying hi during one of my streams. Of course, you can like, comment, subscribe, or that. YouTube shit that people just say at the end of a video. Honestly, best way to show me support, stopping by Twitch. But likes, comments, subs are very much appreciated. Thank you for watching. Bye.